Hello, I am Ina Johnson Myers, your resiliency coach, and welcome to module three. Lord, I thank you for my correction. Correction? You ask, is that something you really want to thank God for? The answer is yes. Because in your correction is your growth. You cannot grow when you're in your box doing the things that you want to do, how you want to do it, you can't grow. You can only grow from correction, from being stretched. So yes, you thank God for your blessings and you thank him for your corrections. Because he loves you so much, he doesn't want to leave you wrong. I thank you for my correction. This module is about recognizing your superpowers and all the greatness God has blessed you with and building the pathway to positioning yourself for purpose. However, in discovering your superpowers, corrections have to be made so that you can operate at peak performance. You can't jump tall buildings and move at the speed of light when you're weighed down with a bunch of mess. And it'll save you a lot of extra time and energy if you just accept the corrections without wasting time being offended. God does not care about your offense. So it's important that you do the corrections, you make the corrections without wasting time being offended. The spirit of offense is the best time waster that the devil has. The spirit of offense is the best time waster that the devil has. The devil will have you so wrapped up in offense that you won't make the necessarily necessary correction. When you don't make the necessary correction, you don't get the necessary blessings. You don't move through your necessary purpose. You don't get the necessary access. So you satisfying the devil when you're offended and you're not making the corrections. So, make those corrections so that you can get your blessings, you can get your access, you can, you'll can you know what your purpose is, that I can talk to you and you're going to be obedient because you don't, you're not going to waste time being offended. So, fix your heart, check your heart to find out why you keep getting offended and then stop doing it. God loves you. He calls you his daughter. So if you want to get offended and waste time, he'll let you. And he'll still be standing there waiting for you to figure it out. So let's, let's not, you know, waste seasons. Let's not go through painful seasons because you're offended. Whatever the corrections are, fix them. Do the honest work to fix them so that your blessings will be on the other side waiting for you. Offense is actually a demonic distractor. And it's important that you, as you go through your journey, as you go through your life, you're mindful of demonic distractors. Demonic distractors have only a purpose to derail your purpose, derail your blessings, derail your access. But they can only derail your blessings, your purpose, your access, and anything else if you allow it. Demonic distractors are real and they're there. You have to be mindful of what a demonic distractor is. And then make the conscious decision intentionally disputed. Att intentionally disputed. You don't have to um, address a demonic distractor. You don't have to fall prey of the tricks of the demonic distractor. Dispute it. You can... <laughs> I rebuke you, uh, you know, whatever. Just dispute it. Let it go. 
so. Hebrews 12.11 states, No discipline seems enjoyable at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness for those who have been trained by it. When you accept the correction, the fruit that comes from the works of that is amazing. You can't um, grow. Your finances can't grow good fruit. Your life can't grow good fruit. Your kids can't grow good fruit because you're playing in the dirt with the demonic distractors. When you allow the corrections to happen, the soil that you're in, it's, it's better. The soil that you're in becomes uh, prosperous, becomes fertile. So allow the corrections to happen. Allow it to happen. Get to the point where God will correct you. You take that correction like a champ and keep moving. Make the make whatever corrections need to be done and you keep moving. You don't have to give it a second thought. Make the corrections. Again, corrections are about your heart posture. Are you operating from a repentant heart or are you operating from a can't nobody tell you nothing heart? Make the make make the call. Make the call. Do the work. This is your last module. And I know in your in module two, you had to deal with some, you know, some some real stuff. Um looking at things from an honest eye is hard. It's hard. Because you have calling the thing a thing is hard. But once you're able to do that, your finances get better, your health gets better, your children get better, everything gets better once you're able to call a thing a thing, get your heart fixed. Find out, you know, when, when, when you say, I love, I love you, or when you say, I forgive you, if you don't really love and forgive, and you can feel that in your heart, go back and check why. Why? Everybody else should be accountable. You have to be accountable for your heart as well. Make yourself accountable. Once you make yourself accountable, any corrections that people give you that are honest corrections, you'll accept because you know they're honest. This module is your last module, but this last module is the beginning of a future that has blessed finances, because you've done the work, you have blessed, you know, your, your, your health, you have blessed personal care, get it all done, set those goals, do, work those goals, not just set them, work those goals, you know, goals are, they're the picture, but your actions are what makes those goals happen. Make sure you're doing the work. Make sure you're doing the work. Success and excellence is your portion. Success and excellence is your portion. The pain that you endured was not your portion. Give it away. Give it back. That's not your portion. 
excellence, success, empowerment, facing everything and rise. Face everything and rise. You are the daughter, the child of the Most High God. He did not break you, but he will heal you if you allow it. He will deliver you if you allow it. He will renew your spirit if you allow it. He will multiply everything the devil stole if you allow it. Let him have it all. Do the work. Set the goals, make them actionable, and then do the action. I'm excited about your journey. I am truly excited about your journey. And I thank you for allowing me to be a part of that journey. Go ahead and get your goals done. You got another SWOT analysis. And that SWOT analysis ought to be strong. Strong. Because you've learned a lot about yourself. So I love you, I honor you, and I thank you for allowing me to be on your journey.